Hi, and welcome to the first episode. And the goal for this episode is very simple, to serve index.html file using Express.js. But we want to use ES6 both on client and on server, so we'll need to install and use Babel transpiler for that. So here I am in empty folder, so let's run npm init with default settings. So just we have this package.json file. And while we're here, let's initialize Git repository and open our project in editor. So let's start by creating server folder. Inside of it, we'll create index.js file, and that's going to be our main entry point. So here we want to actually run our express server. So we input express from express. We initialize our application as express call of the function. And then we let's define catch all route. We have request and response and we use error function here just because we can. So we send back hello world string here. And of course we need to listen to some ports. Let's make it 3000. And just to have it, we'll have console.log here that tells us that we are running on localhost 3000. Okay. Now we need to run it. Let's try out node. So if you go back to terminal and I, my node version right now is 6.2 and I run server index, well, I've got an error because I'm using import and node doesn't understand what it is. So we need to install and set up Babel for our purposes. So let's install with save dev flag babel cli package. Okay, done. And while we're here, let's also install Express itself. So now let's go back to editor and open package.json file. And here in scripts, let's define a new command. We call it server for now. And we'll use babel node, which is the part of babel cli package. It, it will run server index.js file. So now if you go back to terminal and try to run this server command, we'll have an error. And we fail because we need to configure Babel. It's not enough simply to install it, of course. So back to editor, let's create in a root folder, we create .babelrc file, and inside of it, we have an object with presets defined, and that's an array of presets that we want to use in our project. And in our case, we need ES2015. And of course, we need to install it. So go back to terminal, npm install save dev, babel press it, ES2015. Okay, done. Well, now if we run server command, we are victorious. Excellent. Let's go to browser and reload the page. And here we are, we have in this hello world stream. So now that we have proper response, let's run the basic HTML page. So back to editor in our index.js file. Okay, right here, instead of sending just a string, we go into send file. And we use path package to join it with current directory, dear name, and index.html file that we're going to create now, but first, of course, we need to import path from path. Okay, so now let's create index.html. And in here, we just paste boilerplate HTML5 simple document like this. So now if we go to browser and reload the page, nothing happens. Well, that's a bummer. We need to go to terminal, we need to kill the process and start server again. And only then when we go back to browser and reload the page, now we have our HTML page. That's not a good way to develop software. So let's install, let's kill it. And let's install with save dev flag, nodemon. And this package will restart our server every time we change any file in server folder. So now that we have it, go back to editor and go back to package JSON file. And here, instead of using just a Babel node, we're going to use Nodemon. But we're going to watch only server 
folder because we will have another folder, the client folder, and we do not want to restart server every time when we change something on a client side because client side will be handled by Webpack. So next we need to execute Babel node and then we need to provide file, this index.js, to nodemon, not to Babel node. And for that, we add double dash here. So let's save it, go back to terminal, and let's run our server. Okay, it seems to work. So if we go back here, reload the page, everything's cool. Go back to editor, to HTML page. Let's add exclamation point here, save it, go back to browser, reload, and here we go. Excellent. So the last thing that we're gonna do here is prepare project for Git. So going back again to editor and in root folder of the project, let's create git ignore file. And first, as I'm on Mac, DS store file should be ignored as well as node modules. Save it, now go back to terminal, I kill it. And we have git status add all file, and let's commit as initial commit. Nice, we accomplished the goal for this episode, so that's it for it, and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.